Hello everybody, my name is Cirque and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Today, well, today, I don't know why I said it like that. I feel like I keep getting weirder and weirder when I talk. Anyways, today, uh, Vert pointed these out, these advanced nano chest plates, which is basically a nano suit body armor with the advanced electric jetpack on it. So I no longer have to, uh, just have the jetpack, I can actually have armor, chest plate. I believe this just got added. We just updated a couple of days ago, and I, I definitely don't remember seeing this before. So this is pretty sweet. So that's the first thing we're going to be doing, is making that. I have the carbon mesh plates here. Oh, and I also got uh, two new crafting tables. Uh, these are pretty cool. This one, let's see, it goes like that. This one is really cool because, um, well, the main reason I got it is that if I put this stuff in and I forgot my jetpack, I can exit out, grab my jetpack, go back in, and it's still there. It doesn't drop out like a normal, uh, uh, normal crafting table would do. Oh, it's called a project table. I don't know if I said that, but it's also cool because you can actually make plans. Um, and put the plans in here and then it will and you can also put storage in here um, items in here and it will if it has the items in here it will take it and make it whenever you click up here or, I don't know someday in the future I'll show you I still haven't really done anything with the plans but someday in the future I'll kind of play around with that and check it out but yeah now we have oh, I gotta turn the jetpack on now we have this advanced nano chest plate which is really awesome so now I actually have uh, a lot more armor plus a jetpack still uh, need yeah still not as good as like the power suit uh, but for now this is what we're going to use and this other crafting table that I got this one you actually need to go to the twilight forest to get you either need to make it uh, with I believe um, maze map focus, which you get from one of the hedge mazes, or you can. I actually found three of these in a miner's hill. And the cool thing about this is you can actually uncraft a lot of items. So like this steel chest plate, I don't need it, but I can uncraft it for three experience or eight experience. It's um, one level for each item that you're getting back. So now I have eight steel instead of a steel chest plate which I can use for other things and so that one's kinda cool and then you can also use it as a regular crafting table by just placing items in here and taking them out there so those are my new crafting tables and let's see since the last time I've kind of changed things around a bit but I'm not gonna show you around too much because I'm actually let's see uh, if you come out here and look at the front of my mountain it looks pretty ugly <laughs> I got rid of all the dirt. I'm kind of working on changing everything around. Uh, I do have three low voltage solar arrays now. And those are working really nicely. And I also have an MFSU, which I talked about making before, but I don't think I made one yet on camera. And this thing holds 10 million, 10 million EU, so it's really nice for powering all my stuff. And I actually have that thing uh, connected to my bat box here, as well as uh, my water mills. So I have that thing. Um, I have the solar arrays. Actually, I don't have the MFSU connected to that. I have my solar arrays and my water mills connected to both my um, both this and the bat box which helps power all of this uh... yeah keeps all this stuff running i got some a lot of rubber in there should empty that one out i have a lot of rubber uh... so the other thing i want to work on today is making in fact, I have one over here. Making one of these, an extra dimensional storage uh, 
Vert actually made one and gifted me it. Uh, so thank you, Vert. Um, but I was planning on making some before he gave me this, and I still want to make more. And really, it looks like kind of a fun process to make. Because to make one of those, let's see, extra dimensional upgrade, you need dark iron. And to make dark iron, you need a block of dark iron. And to make that, you need to set a block of iron on fire using a wrath igniter, which is like a flint and steel except from hell. And we're going to be uh, testing this out today. We're going to be making this. We need diamond shards. And so to make diamond shards, we need diamond block. We need, uh, let's see, four TNT and four obsidian so we'll stick that into our crafting table and this makes a craft packet now the craft packet we actually need to stick into a craft packet stamper need a special uh, machine to turn it into the diamond shards so we need all of this to have a crafting table here, piston, we need four cobble, and three iron. So we'll just make that quick. And then that we will just stick, um, let's just stick it over here in the corner for now. So now we can stick the craft packet in there take a little bit and then we get our diamond shards. So I'm going to stick uh, all but one of them. Oh. We only need one diamond shard so let's go make the wrath igniter which is just diamond shard and netherrack and I, there it goes. Wrath igniter. So now uh, I'll wait for the rain to stop and then we will go to the desert and fire this thing off. Alright, before we go to the desert I have one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I've showed before I had four pillars of uh, resin rubber logs um, all facing the inside. I have since upgraded it to this house and all of these are resin. Some of them haven't grown back yet but this makes it really easy to get a lot of resin just bring in my electric tap and go down the whole wall. Um, I'm kind of toying with the idea of putting obsidian pipes in here as well which will pull which um, which will grab all the resin that falls on the floor and then I want to feed that into like an automatic ex or into an extractor so that it just automatically extracts all the resin and uh, turns it into rubber and puts it into a chest for me. Um, but that, yeah, that's one thing that I'm working on. Oh, and I also added some farms up here. I got my cow farm. I got wheat farm, chickens. Let's see. Let's breed these cows real quick. There we go. Get some more meat cooking. That goes in there. All right, so let's head to the desert now. All right, so I got my 16 iron blocks here that I'm going to convert into dark iron with my wrath igniter. And all you have to do is light it on fire. And then I can just watch the show. And yep, it's still going. Oh, it's all spreading out. Pretty soon here it will turn into dark iron. There it goes. And then it regular fires will start spreading. We definitely don't want to go in there because that will I'm sure kill us. Now regular fires will start spreading and uh, there's still some wrath igniter stuff going on. I'll just wait for all the fires to go out. Alright and then we can come in and collect our dark iron blocks. And then each one of these will give us four ingots, and I need four ingots for each extra dimensional storage, which I just realized that I don't think I told you guys uh, what I wanted that for. Uh, what you can do with the extra dimensional storage 
is uh guess we don't really need to look up anything is use it on a barrel and barrels are items that hold 64 stacks of one item but you can actually use the extra dimensional storage and upgrade it to holding 1024 stacks of one item so I want to use that for cobblestone for my quarries so that I can keep it all and keep it all in one small little area and I'll basically have a large amount of cobblestone um, <clears throat> but with that dark iron the reason why I made it out here in the desert and I made it up in the air is just because these wrath igniters are very very powerful they can burn up uh, the whole land within like a 40 block radius they will uh, turn sand into glass turn grass blocks into regular dirt they will start fires and burn everything around I mean if I did it around the forest and accidentally caught fire to a tree it would probably burn the whole forest because uh, we are in 1.4.7 and I don't think fire spread is nerfed in this version of Minecraft I think that was 1.5 that they nerfed fire spread a bit I guess I'm not entirely sure but uh, all you really have to do is raise it off the ground and the wrath fire will not spread but just be just uh, to be careful I brought it out here um, and also I kind of want to show you guys what this will do uh, let's build a platform so that we're not hovering the whole time because I don't want to hover the whole time we'll just get rid of everything except for the top block oh, and I got rid of some sand let's put that back so I kind of wanted to try this Wrath Igniter and uh, watch it go to work on this desert. So let's let's do that. Get onto our platform so we can watch it from up here. And it's still going. Oh, there it's spreading. Oh, there it goes. Let's get some popcorn out, in fact, to watch this. Oh, see, it's turning it all into glass. Oh, that's cool. Mmm, popcorn. Oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> I don't want to fall down there. Oh, that is awesome. Just terraforming the, forming the land into beautiful glass. <laughs> I'll have to get a silk touch pickaxe and come out here. And wow, that is spreading. It should stop sometime soon. Maybe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so much glass. I think it's gonna stop. Well, if it doesn't, then I guess I'll have a layer of glass <laughs> around my entire desert. Holy crap. <laughs> and this is why I did not do it in the forest. Holy crap. Yeah, I said the 40 block radius, but I was not entirely sure. <laughs> Although it does look like it's stopping over here. <laughs> that is so cool. That is a sweet looking desert now. Oh man. I think it's all done, it looks like. Although I'm, it should, if it is all done, it should leave regular fires. But I don't see any, so that... <laughs> Uh, so that is the devastation that a Wrath Igniter can do. It's a very dangerous tool. Definitely don't want to use it around anything that you don't want to lose. But it is definitely a cool, cool thing. Alright, so I have one more thing that I want to work on in this episode. I got rid of all my machines, and I want to work on a setup that will automatically uh, macerate my items and then stick them into a furnace and smelt them and so we're gonna try and get this working today um, I've already kind of played around with it a bit so I kind of know what I need to do so I want my macerators up here and then we need wooden pipes pulling stuff out of the sides so that it pulls out anything that is macerated and then we need it to put it into a furnace. And then let's see. 
Got to be careful. I just uh, upgraded my advanced diamond drill, put it efficiency 4 on it. So I got to be careful here because this thing will uh, eat through rock. So then, let's see, we need to get down here so we can pull stuff out of there. And then, let's see. Um, I'm going to need to get rid of those blocks. Let's see how... Because now we need to set up engines to power these uh, wooden pipes. Oh yeah, I think I remember what is wrong with this. I don't think I can pull stuff out of the bottom of there because I think it will pull out whatever is supposed to be there. So I actually need to pull stuff out of the back. And then... And then I can put stone pipes underneath here to transport items. And then I can put engine there, engine there, engine there, and engine there. And then to power all those engines, I can do this. Let's see, I needed a redstone torch. Stick redstone torch there, redstone on there. That'll power all four of those engines. And then I need something putting stuff into the macerators. And then chest. Can have that wooden pipe pulling stuff out of that chest. And then we'll need another engine here. And then need to power that somehow actually I know an easy way just uh... let's see can move this torch there we go move this torch over here that should power that one as well and then we just need to get stuff out of there and into a chest So let's see if we put a chest right here and then I'm gonna need one more stone pipe don't have quite enough let's yeah so I think I was just using cobblestone pipe I need cobblestone and a piece of glass As you can see, I've been using my project table. This is really nice having storage right here, and uh, it's really it's also really nice because um, I don't have to click the whole time. Like if I wanted to make, let's say, a bunch of chests, if I wanted to make eight chests, all I would have to do is make one, and then I can click here. It'll pull the items out from the storage down here until it's empty. And you can just keep uh, making chests that way instead of having to click each one. You know, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a lot nicer, especially since we don't have the 1.5 click and drag. Let's see, so this should work here, maybe. Uh, the only thing that might not work is I might need some iron. Um, some iron pipes or yeah iron pipes which allow things to only travel in one direction because here I'm not sh it might kind of go back and forth and I'm not exactly sure but let's try this out uh, the only thing left to do is power which is also going to be kind of interesting so I'm gonna have to run a cable underneath these yeah so let's get our glass fiber cable out Get some cable running there and then these I'm gonna have to run back here 
and maybe like up and over the engines and then down to that one let's get on the other side here and I can run this up and out and I guess that one's connecting to the side so we don't actually need uh, it doesn't matter same amount anyways so that's all connected so now if we stick items up there to be macerated which I don't have any useful items let's see let's do the silver oh that's <laughs> whoops alright so if we stick silver ore in there it should pump it out there it goes it's gonna go pretty slowly because we just have cobblestone pipes and I don't know how warmed up the engines are someone they should be going that way as well it should uh, it's random okay why are they all heading down come on I just want one to head okay there we go so now we know that it does split them so this one that one's done macerating so it's gonna pull it out put it into the furnace it's gonna smelt in the furnace and then it's going to pull it out send it over and then hopefully it will send it to the chest nope it's gonna send it down um, so now what's gonna happen I think it's gonna spit it out eventually no it's just gonna go around in a loop come on <laughs> uh, that's kind of a problem there let's try um, if we stick whoa I think they're still there it's just invisible if we stick cobblestone pipe here and there instead of using that one it might decrease the looping a bit let's see um so yeah those are kind of bouncing around so I might need some iron pipes for that. Let's make that real quick. And I should have everything I need in here except for the glass. Okay. Got some iron pipes. And then these, I'm not exactly sure how to use them. You can like change the direction, I think, with redstone power. And then let's just get rid of that for now. Put a pipe there. So that's the wrong direction. a pipe there and then somehow we have to change the direction and I think you just have to kind of do this actually I can just do from the bottom okay so that one's right and that one's right okay so now it, sure, no that one's not right there we go oh crap ooh I'm gonna need no nope. Do I need to keep it powered? Kind of don't want to keep it powered, but I guess we might have to. Let's make a lever instead, just so it's not uh, we don't have a light back here. And I can't get it back. That's okay. So now it's all should be heading that way. We don't have any bouncing around, and I can't open this chest, so I guess it doesn't matter that I moved it so we'll just break that one and can I get that silver ingot ah. but anyways it is working there we got the silver coming out of there uh, it should be evenly splitting through these two which it kind of is there because that one only has 16 and then you have those as well looks like it must be out and uh yeah and then it pulls it out so this is it's uh <laughs> i have to say this uh 
build craft pipe stuff is kind of annoying just because uh, after playing with hoppers in vanilla Minecraft, you know, this stuff it's really, really inefficient. You know, I have to have all this space just to do this, all these engines. With hoppers, it would just automatically pull it out and it'd be a lot easier. But this is what we have in FTB, this big system. And I can I can tile this. You know, I just need an array like this and keep continuing it, which I might do, but I'll have to make more space. And yes. And I think one thing I want to do with the quarry that I th I um that I want to build soon, maybe next episode or the episode after, I want to have an ender chest actually up here that will uh bring things transport things from the quarry to, you know, my setup here at home and automatically smelt things for me. Oh, uh, one thing I was wondering is uh what if we stick something else in here that's not silver because it won't be able to go into these so what's gonna happen when it goes in okay that gets ejected so I'll probably need to add or I will need to add hoppers on top of all these which is gonna make this thing even bigger awesome <laughs> yeah, I might even need hoppers yeah I, I I'm going to need hoppers on top of all of the machines, which means these are going to have to be raised up. And yeah, it's going to make it a little bit more complicated, but we'll get it to work. We just need to uh, make more space and yeah, get it built. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye, peoples.